Where's that treasure? Alright, good morning everybody. This is a pirate stacker coming at you and today we are buying the dip. <laughs> uh, yes, man, I had a late night. I was out at the daddy-daughter dance. We had a blast. But today I wake up silver prices below 23 an ounce. We know it's manipulated. How silver could be so low in this day and age when supply and demand is what it is. You know it's manipulated, but that being said, I came to my favorite place in the land. This is a coin shop and a firearms dealer and a fishing store. Steel Fox Firearms here in the land, Florida. Uh, great place. They don't do numismatic so much, but when they have silver, they have the best prices on silver. Uh, typically $3 an ounce over spot for generics. Uh, let's see if they've got any. With the dip, it's real hit and miss. You know, either they get a bunch in or it's all bought immediately. It's always like that. This place either has some or none. <laughs> so it's not a real big coin shop, but we're going to go in and see what we can get. Check it out. All right, so as you can see, they were cleaned out. Now, I have my suspicions on this. I don't know. I mean, I assume they were cleaned out, but I also don't know if places, when spot drops, just pull their merchandise and wait for spot to go back up. I did find war nickels and two mercury dimes. 30 war nickels, two mercury dimes. Literally, they were loose in his countertop sorry it's sunny out they were loose in his cabinet we went through sorted found them and and i got them for 40 bucks that's 30 war nickels two mercury dimes the melt value on that is right about 42 bucks i paid 40 for it so literally i got it at spot but again these are 35 percent silver war nickels you know you get what you can get at, it's not the best price I've gotten, I can tell you that right now. It, I'm not stoked about it, but it's cheaper than what's been out there, and, and I'll take that as a win. So, you know, find what you can. I'd like to see if another shop is open and uh, add to this video. Let's see if we can find some more silver somewhere else. I'm going to go hit up a pawn shop at least. Let's check it out. All right, so I'm just headed back home. But there's two pawn shops side by side here, so I stopped to hit both of them, see if there's any chance they got silver in, or gold at this point. I'm looking for affordable gold. Always looking for affordable gold. We'll let you know. Let's see. All right, so this pawn shop actually had some stuff, but they had it because their prices were crazy high. Uh, so they had American Silver Eagles, uh, $44.99 each. Canadian Maple Leafs, $42.99 each. They did have some Buffaloes, $35.99 each. Uh, they also had one-tenth Gold Eagles, $2.99 a piece. Um, and the Incus Indian, $4.99 for that $110. Uh, spendy. The crazy thing is, when I walked in, there was a guy looking for silver. While I was looking at the silver, two more guys came in looking for silver. Uh, so people are on the hunt. They know it's, the price is down. People are buying. Again, how spot price has come down, I have no idea. This stuff is getting bought, guys. Uh, supply and demand, the demand is high. And people are trying to put their their assets into metals. I can see it. Like, this was a middle-aged dude, a young kid. Like, there's all different kinds of people that are looking to put their cash, which is rapidly becoming worthless, 
uh, into metals, which, you know, I can't fault. I'm trying to do the same thing. Let's see if we can go to one more stop here. <laughs> so I skipped that other pawn shop. They don't typically have stuff. I'm sure everybody's hitting them up. Now this one, People's Pawn and Jewelry in Orange City, they typically do have coinage, some sort of silver and gold. Let's go see what they got in the case. So, pretty much a bust. He thought he had a bunch of silver and gold. He had one gold piece, really overpriced, 750 bucks. Um, and then he had one slab, 70 grade PCGS uh, Poseidon silver for $139. And uh, he did offer 30% or 20% off on the Poseidon. I'm still not in the market for that myself, but uh, the rest was all clad stuff, some slab pennies. Somebody clearly had a collection, some paper bills. I mean, at least he had a couple of things there, but uh, no real silver or gold to speak of. I'm going to try one more spot and see if we can get some silver out of this uh, trip today. So let's go check it out. Total failure. I hit up this last place, Value Pond, Orange City. I went in, there's nothing, uh, which I'm not surprised about. They get hit up quite a bit. They're in a good location. That's it. Four stops. I got 30 war nickels and two mercury dimes to show for it. Uh, not my best haul, but something's better than nothing, right? <laughs> Look, people are after it. If you can find, find silver with spot price down, get it guys have a great weekend thank you for watching make sure you like and subscribe i appreciate everybody have a great day we'll see you soon pirate out <laughs>